Hey, what's up? It's Pizza Wolfing Nerd here. Today I'm going to show you how to, um, this is my first GIMP tutorial, and on it, I'm going to show you how to make something in GIMP, and, um, you'll learn stuff from it, basically. So, on this one, we're going to Photoshop, or I guess GIMP, our face onto a computer, um, onto a movie poster. So, for this tutorial, I'll be doing the Matrix poster. So, just look up the movie, and just, um, on Google Images, and right-click it, and open it. Now we're in GIMP, so we can just Control V, and um, as you can see, this picture is higher res than the background, so we can just uh, can uh, hold Shift and make it smaller, a little bit smaller. Okay, now let's align it to the middle. So to do this, um, look for the alignment tool, click on the image, and then click on um, these two buttons right here. All right, and if we want to now, we can crop current layer only, um, select the whole layer, uncheck the current layer, and then click. And now our image is cropped to just the poster. Now you're going to need a picture of your face for your next part. Um, so we're going to want to open that picture as a new layer. As you can see, I got a picture of Bill and Melinda Gates because I'm not going to do a face reveal. So new, new layer. Um, once again, it's a higher res resolution, so we'll just take this tool and we'll shrink it a little bit. And here we go. So um, let me move this above. Here we go. So next, we are going to select Bill Gates's face. So again, with the selection tool. So take the free select tool and just um, we're going to select his face now. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm just doing this as fast as I can for this YouTube video, so, um, let's see, alright, um, okay, um, let's move this over here, but yeah, this isn't going to be perfect, I'm actually just, I'm gonna cut off actual. I'm actually gonna might cut off a little bit of the hair, but I don't really care about the hair unless it's like a big chunk of it. But see, like this. Um, let's see. Just give me a second. Um, man, Bill Gates does not know how to do his hair. <laughs> um, anyways. Here we go, so now that we've selected the face now, we can just click on a different tool and control X to um control X, um new layer, and then control V, and that's puts your face in a new layer. Now we can delete the picture from original the original picture. So now we have Bill Gates' face right here. Um let's we can get the eraser tool out if you want and just improve it a little bit. So eraser tool kind of looks like a salt shaker. Gamp, you should fix that. Anyways, eraser tool, and whoops, wrong way. And we're just going to erase some parts of it. Um, normally you wouldn't have. I have hard edge on. Let's let me disable that. Um, but yeah, and then you can erase parts that you don't want. Um, you can also use an alpha layer if you want to, but this is just simpler. Um, not an alpha layer, a layer mask. I meant that's what I meant to say. But yeah, just undo. Um, Control C undoes. By the way, I think we all know that. Um, yeah, so just get rid of some of that background from the picture. This stuff's pretty much optional, but just makes the image a little bit better. Okay, we now that we've got this part. Um, now we're going to get the um, scale tool again, and we're just going to uh, take this and you um, let's put it on. Should we put it on a uh, Neo, Morpheus, or Trinity? Let's put it on Trinity because his I don't know this guy's name, but let's put it on Trinity.
just because the neck fits the best. Um, if you want to make the neck fit a little bit more, we can take the perspective, um, not the perspective, the shear tool, and you can uh, move it a little bit. So, um, here we go. So now we have Bill Gates' head on Trinity. <laughs> um, all right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove this. Now, there's two ways to remove it. One way is we can look for a Texas version of the poster. I can't spell, but... Um, so I'm looking up text, text, textless matrix post or matrix matrix, textless makes yeah matrix poster. So here we have a Texas matrix poster. The resolution isn't as high, but we don't really need that um, because it's going to be such a small edit. Um, or we, you didn't mean to do that. Um, matrix. Um, I remember there was a higher resolution one. Matrix poster without text. Here it is, so this one is a lot, um, better. Except the Matrix logo is a little bit different, but, um, can, uh, edit this. And once again, we're going to want to scale it. What's the res current resolution of this layer? Let me check. Hold on. Um, I just need to get the... Im oh, it's right here. Duh. So let me just... Uh, 6, 8, 7 by... Um, 1032. Okay, now let's uh, line it back to the middle. There we go, and let's hide this behind the original poster layer. So now, to d remove this text, we can just get out the eraser tool and just... Wrong layer. Um... Just get out the eraser tool and just uh, remove this text. So the color is a little bit different, but it's good enough. Um, however, if you cannot find a Texas m movie poster on Google Images or something, there's another way. So um, we're going to want to take the clone tool. Let me find it. Um, here it is, clone tool. Just click somewhere. Or, sorry, where? Click somewhere, set an image source. Um, one second. Here we go. So, it is control click, and now we can just, um, paint away the text. So, paint this away. Um, paint away all of the text now. So, it's a little bit different, but looks pretty similar as you can see here um let's see let's get this let's do this um so yeah So we're almost done with this part. I'm not going to remove the other part, just this one part. Okay, so um, now we're, to get this glowing text effect, like the matrix, I don't know the exact font, but um, let's make our text white. And we're going to put pizza loving nerd, and this font is huge, so make that um, th smaller. So, um, let's do 25. That looks good. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, can just do that and then, um, right click the, um, right click the text, or actually you don't even need to right click. You could just, um, get out the, um, color select tool since the text color is the same. And just select everything from this um, part layer. Create a new layer. Expand the selection by, let's do 30 pixels. Or 20, but it sounds better. So, um, that didn't do anything. 
Here we go. Now, a little bit less. Let's do five pixels. Let's do three pixels. So select um, shrink by two pixels. Yeah, that looks good. So now we are going to uh, go in back into this layer and get this um, purple color right here. And we are going to uh, paint that in to our new layer and put this behind the text. And then to give it the blur effect, we just go to um, filters, blur, gaussian blur, and then just click OK. And you can do this multiple times. There we go. Now, um, I like this one better. But we have multiple, we have some more text now. You can even you can also expand the selection even more um, and have the Gaussian blur be more effective. So Gaussian blur, yeah, that looks nice. So um, yeah, that's how you make your own movie poster. We have my name, Pizza Loving Nerd, here on the poster, and we have a giant Photoshop of Bill Gates on this poster. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, um, then I'll see you in the next one. Peace.